Hello and welcome to our weekly soccer show on the pitch. I'm Matt Finkel. Thank you for joining us. We'll be joined in studio here with the Temple Christian Pioneer boys soccer team. Excited to talk to them. They're having a great first half. But first, let's get you caught up on the week that was on the pitch and start with some highlights at Ottawa Glandorf. A big one in the Western Buckeye League as OG trying to remain perfect, taking on defiance. And the Titans leading one to nothing at the half. Ball bounces out to Austin Verhoff for a shot, but the keeper is there to make the save on the low liner. OG still attacking now. Tori Schrader shoots, goes wide, and it's out for a goal kick. Later in the half, Austin Schrader's going to try one from deep right at the goalie. Nice save. Now off the throw, Titans keeping at it. Tori Schrader there. He touches it home. That makes it 2-0 OG, and they get the win 3-0. Titans are now 5-0 in the Western Buckeye League. To the Western Ohio Soccer League on the girls' side, Coldwater hosting Lincoln View. Brooke Klosterman shoots, but Brooke Schrader makes the stop. Pink jerseys for breast cancer awareness in this one. Great cause over in cold water. Lady Cavs now with a free kick. And it's taken a little too far in front for Mara Hoyn, and Schrader is able to track it down. But the Lady Cavs would break this one open. They win it 8 to nothing, and Mara Hoyne finishes with two goals in the victory. Staying in the WOSL on the boys' pitch, Temple Christian visiting LCC. No score in the second half. Cameron Warsham trying to change that. Great space, shoots just wide of the cage. Didn't miss by much there. On the other end, it's a T-Bird's corner. Steven Tafflinger sends it in. Good defense by Ryan Ward. He's able to clear it away before Jimmy Kutka can get a foot on it. Temple back on the attack now into the box for Warsham. He flicks it on. Kyle Smith makes the save. And Steven Tafflinger. With it again on the near side. Works his way in, but DJ Clay comes up big just as he has all season. Makes the save. This game ends in a scoreless tie, so Temple remains unbeaten as their record moves to 6-0-3. And, and our player of the week on the pitch is Temple keeper DJ Clay. He has not allowed a goal in almost a month. Five straight shutouts for Clay and the Pioneers, and that earns him our player of the week honor. Congrats to DJ. And speaking of Temple, we are joined now in studio by... Two of the seniors, the only two seniors on the Temple Christian roster. On the end there, it's Coach B.J. McFerrin. In the middle, we have Christian Angle, senior center midfielder. And right next to me is Joey Hutchinson, senior center midfielder. Joey, let's start with you. How's the season been going? It's got to be fun when you just win or tie all the time, right? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, we're 6-0-3, uh, I believe. Yep. A few ties. Uh, obviously, we wish we could have came out with a win with those, but we're, we're satisfied with our record. Christian, what do you think has been the, the key for this, this team so far? Obviously, with only two seniors, it, it must be a young group. Uh, yeah, we're very young. Um, one of the main factors in our team is our defense. Just keep shutting them out in these games. And um, all around in practice, they're working hard, and Ryland Ward is back there leading it. Yeah, Coach, what does that do for your team when you have such a strong defense and a great goalie? You know that you might only need one goal to get a victory. Yeah, it takes, it takes a little bit of pressure off the offense. We'd like to be a little bit better going forward um, in our schedule on the offensive end, but it takes a lot of pressure on coaching-wise. I have some leaders back there, really all of them, um, have a lot of fight and grit back there to want to get that. They, they keep track of you know each, each half even. They're saying it to each other, you know, zero goals, zero goals. So um, they continue to have that goal, and having those goals is a positive thing, and it's helped us to this point. So, Joey, what was the offseason like? Anything different this year or – Pretty much the same as in past years for you. Um, me and Christian, being the only two seniors, we uh, kind of tried to get together, but it never really worked out. <laughs> was like kind of some flooding, but um, we were we were ready for this year definitely. Uh, we got a pretty strong sophomore class too, a lot of athletes, and uh, yeah, we were we were ready this year. What are some of the ways that you and Christian t took on that leadership role this year in camp, and then as the season has gone along? Um, I guess just being verbal with each other, you know, talking to the players individually, um, you know, encouragement mainly. Is that a role that you're comfortable with, Christian? Do you like being the vocal leader on the field? At center mid, too, both of you in the center of the field, that's required. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a major role in the game and something I've been lacking on. I need to pick it up a little bit. Coach, what have you seen out of the, out of the seniors? How, how have they led this group? Well, I mean, they've been around for a while, so that helps. I mean, they know the ins and outs. They know what to expect in a practice. Can rely on them to to get things accomplished um, that's been the biggest thing is knowing that they've been through this so many times before um, really since they were freshmen and play they played a lot of minutes at that point and so 
relying on them for that, that uh, consistency and knowing that uh, we were young and going through a 16 game season and just keeping guys on top of their game and then knowing that they've been there, they've been a big uplifting to the other guys on the team for that. And they've been here for the formation of the Western Ohio Soccer yeah. League, which is now in year two. And you guys are competing for that league title this year. And what's it mean to you to, to have a league and to be able to play for a league title as opposed to just every game doesn't mean as much? Uh, it gives us another goal, definitely, yeah. to win league. And uh, we're right there uh, this year. Currently Already, in first, yeah. 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 So it's in your hands right now. <laughs> yeah. so. Christian, what about for you? What do you like about the league games and, and how... How do you feel about the Western Ohio Soccer League as a whole? I really enjoy the competition, and it does give us forward so, or something forward to look to. Yeah. yeah. Coach, how, you've seen the league from the start. Yeah. What, what do you think? How does Temple fit in? And, and the league's got to be a success, I, I think, at this point, right? Every, I mean, even every coach I talk to has been thrilled. I mean, it's competitive. Um, you know, LCC had a, had a great year last year yeah. and was able to run through the league there. And on the girls' side, Lehman Catholic continues to be very good even this year. And then and looking at the league this year, it is very balanced. Um, you know, we're looking forward on our schedule. We have left Lehman, Lincoln View, and Botkins left. And I know um, Botkins is having a very good year. They're right there at the top with us as far as the league standing is concerned. But the, the great part about it is we look at our schedule and you can say, Here's these games that you can notch on the schedule and say, okay, this is a big league opportunity for us. And, and it really, hopefully this year, if we continue to play well, maybe nab a share of that or however it works out. And it just gives them another goal, like they've said, just to put on their, our list of things that we want to accomplish as a team. That Botkins game was on October 13th, late in the season, mm -hmm. and that could very well decide the Western Ohio Soccer League on the boys' side. Still a lot to play before that, of course. Yep. But with that being said, do you guys have a rival, you think, at this point, or is it too early to really have? Um, I know for uh, me and the golf team, Layman Catholic, uh, <laughs> we just want to get back at them. Uh, they, they won golf, obviously, when we were undefeated through the season. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's good competitive fun, but, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's <laughs> the way it should be. What about for you, Christian? Do you have a favorite opponent or one that you look forward to? Uh, I think Botkins is going to be the one for me. That's going to be a good one this year. Yep. Coach, what do you think this team needs to improve upon between now and, and the end of the season? And then obviously I'm assuming postseason's got to be mm -hmm. in your mind at this point as well. Mm -hmm. I, I think the biggest thing, I think these guys would agree even in practice on Friday, the biggest emphasis right now is just fluidity in our offensive attack. Um, when you have a defense that's putting up that shutouts, it gives a little bit of leeway on practices. And, and uh, you know, pretty much for a good 45 minutes on Friday, that's all we worked on was just – um, the build up and the counter attack. We've become very good over the last couple of years, I think, of possessing the ball, but really on that counter attack and the speed it takes to go from defense to offense is probably where we need to improve the most. In order to you know, compete, you look at even our schedule, it starts even Monday. We're going to host a very good Audeville team out of the Putnam County League, who's always that league itself. Anytime you yeah. play those teams in that league, it's, it's going to be a grind. And so it really starts on Monday to see if we can make progress on that front. What are practices like? Coach mentioned that you're working on one thing specifically right now. Is that how it is day to day, or is there a general routine that is followed? Uh, yeah, Coach normally has something in mind uh, uh, in our planned practices. Uh, we get there, you know, we do our normal stretches, and uh, we always get a ball right after that and start juggling until uh, we're ready to practice. And uh, yeah, lately it's been offensive uh, uh, fluidity and uh, getting into that, so then, then finally finishing. So. Yeah, Coach mentioned you guys practice juggling. We'll have our juggle up <laughs> at the end of the show as well and see how that goes. Christian, what do you think this team's biggest strength is right now? Our biggest strength is definitely on the defensive side mm -hmm. with the shutouts uh, recently, and they've only scored like three goals on us this whole season. Yeah, defense has been really strong. Coach, would you agree? Yeah, and that's an exciting thing is that's a young group. I mean, DJ is a junior. He's been playing goalie since he's a freshman. And Rylan Ward is a, a junior, but um, and then two sophomores and even a freshman back there. So you, you look at that group, you know, obviously we're happy with where they're at this year. And the, 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 where they can progress this year and then on to the future is exciting for them. And that's why I just hope, hope as we continue to work throughout the season, that offense can move apart. And that's your goal in the end. We've talked about that from the beginning from game one to game 16, are you better? Right. And so each day trying to work better on that, like specifically this week, a lot of offensive things that we've been working on. And then, and hopefully then by the time it comes around and with a new format, you might host a tournament game even. So that's all, those are exciting things. And all those things have changed so rapidly, it seems like with the league and, and home tournament games and everything's gone um, to that. And so there's just some cool things that can happen if we can continue to put together a good season. Yeah, lots to look forward to. Yeah. 
What's been the best moment so far, if you had to pick one out? Do you have one? Uh, the Lima senior game was pretty intense. Uh, yeah. Kind of the battle for Lima almost, but uh, we went into there knowing that they were going to be a good team and uh, under the lights at uh, Lima Stadium. That, that was probably the, a, a game where we knew that we were um, you know, good enough to compete with the good teams around. Absolutely, a one-to-one -one tie. They have a good defense as well. Mm -hmm. Christian, what about for you? Do you have a moment that stands out so far? Um, just all around, I enjoy being you know, with my closest friends, Joey especially, just on the soccer team. Yeah, that is, that is a great time. Coach, you see the camaraderie with these guys? I mean, high school sports say this often, but I mean, it's fun to be competitive and everything, but it really is about you know, being part of a team activity, right? Oh yeah, and we, we had a, early in the year after one of our scrimmages, they came over and everybody, we, did, we went swimming and, and had a time where we sat together and just, um, just talked about some of the goals, we wrote them down which is something different that I've, as a coach, that we haven't done in the past. And just try to be very specific and intentional about what we're trying to accomplish. But at the same time, I mean, these guys, and we're in a small school atmosphere anyway, mm -hmm. so I mean, these guys are spending a lot of time, not just with the senior class, but they're, um, you know, walking the halls with, with everybody and they see each other, maybe, maybe more so than what a bigger school might have. So they've developed that through the time. A lot of them play multiple sports together. So all those things help. Um, and it's been neat to see how that all starts to come together. Uh, and really can translate on a soccer field for us. Seems like the community is really rallying behind the soccer team as well. Have you seen that, Joey? What does that mean? Um, yeah, I guess our name's kind of getting out there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of fans there. at the games, right? Yeah. 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 So that must be exciting. A yeah, more. it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Christian, what about for you? You see that community come together around Temple. Does that make uh, you play even harder? Oh, yeah, definitely. Being undefeated, I think, has helped a lot of fans come to our games and even walking in the parade and juggling a little bit during it. Yeah. Where, what are the goals for the rest of this season? Where do you see yourself in, in a couple, in about five to six weeks, I guess, right? It's coming up. Yeah. I mean, it, just looking at the schedule, um, you know, as a coach, you start to evaluate where you're at, where you're going, and you try to focus on one game at a time. But, you know, at the same time, it's hard when you look at the next seven games and you're going to, um, a week from today, you know, you're going to host Bath, which is going to be a big game for us. And it's our homecoming game, probably our biggest crowd of the year that, that day. You know, and you know you got a Fort Jennings team that went to regionals last year, and so you look at those, you're like, we're really going to find out. And that's been what I've been telling them, and and uh, talked to Coach Tabler from LCC, and, and now that they're fully healthy, they're playing really well, which is who we just played, and you saw in the highlights there. So, you know, you just start to see these stepping stones, and I really try and tell these guys, you know, what do you want for yourself each game? You got to go out and play hard. And so my biggest thing is is just to progress, um, especially like we've said a couple times before, offensively, just continue to get better, and so that we can have that strong defense, combine that with a strong offense, and hopefully by game 16 and 17 as you roll on and see what happens in a tournament, you really start to put the whole package together. Yeah, well, best of luck to you guys. Before we finish, we've got to finish juggling. So, Joe, yep. you ready to go? I'll <laughs> move the table and I'll get started. Last week, I only had two, so I'm trying to do better than two this week. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Five? That was five, the five was one of my best of this season, <laughs> and I almost lost it into the camera, so <laughs> here you go. Just right foot, nice, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> nine solid. Well, if you weren't wired on. in, yeah. I feel like you might have been able to go a little yeah. further. But thank you so much for joining me, guys. I really appreciate it. Best of luck to yeah. you the rest of the season as Temple Christian looks to make some history this year and pick up their first WOSL league title and maybe beyond into the postseason. That's going to do it for On the Pitch this week. We'll see you next time.